With the 4th of July right around the corner, of course, right now, you're going to be seeing lots of red, white, and blue. But did you ever wonder how they became America's colors? Good question. Heather Brown first explained the history behind the hues last summer. They are the colors of Captain America, the Minnesota Twins, what? and every balloon animal we'll make to celebrate the birth of our country. All right. There you go, buddy. The red, white, and blue starts with the American flag, right? Not quite. Back in 1777, the Second Continental Congress resolved the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field representing a new constellation. Now you'll notice it didn't say anything about why those were the colors, but one could imagine, and historians do, that was what our founding fathers knew at the time. Notice the similarities? It wasn't for another five years that Americans would get the official explainer on the colors. That happened when one of our lesser known founding fathers, Charles Thompson, presented the Great Seal to Congress. The seal was created to represent the values and beliefs and sovereignty of the young nation. Now it's found mostly on official presidential documents, but it's also in the back of the $1 bill. But this one is obviously green and white, but I digress. Thompson told Congress about the seal. He says the white signifies purity and innocence, red hardiness and valor, and blue signifies vigilance, perseverance, and justice. So while most of us probably don't know all the specific details of the history, until now, what our founding fathers did know, that colors can evoke strong emotions like patriotism and pride. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. And here's some flag trivia. Many of us have heard the story of Betsy Ross creating the first American flag. Several of her relatives have said it's true, but there isn't any documentation of it. So her involvement remains a big question.